looking to solve for the regular function here, which is just y is equal to negative 2 cosine of 3x. And then I want to solve for the domain of the inverse. And to find the inverse, I'm just going to swap y and x out. So this simply becomes x is equal to negative 2 cosine of 3y. And I'm going to solve to get y by itself again. So first off, I'm going to divide through by 2. So I'm going to get negative x over 2 is equal to the cosine of 3y. You take the inverse cosine. So I'm going to get 3y is equal to inverse cosine of x over 2. Even though cosine is an even function, you got to leave the negative sign in there in this case. And I'm going to divide through by 3. So y is equal to cosine inverse, inverse of negative x over 2, all divided by 3. So now, for the domain of the regular function, f of x, the domain is simply negative infinity to infinity, because you can plug in any value for that. Not the case for the inverse up here. And what you're doing up here is the inverse bounds for the inverse cosine is negative 1 to x, or negative 1 to 1 for x. So in order to solve the bounds on this, I'm going to set each case here. So I'm going to do negative x over 2, um, excuse me, is equal to negative 1. And I'm going to do negative x over 2 is equal to 1. So I'll multiply by 2. And, or I'm going to multiply by negative 2 on both sides. So over here, I'm simply going to get x is equal to 2, and then multiply by negative 2 over here, and I get x is equal to negative 2. So your bounds for the inverse function are going to be, it's going to be brackets because it includes negative 2, so it's going to be negative 2, 2, 2. So these are your two solutions top one for your regular functions domain and the bottom one for your inverse function.